you allow niggas to directly disrespect baby soldier. And he, and he's trying to get, you know what I'm saying, higher and higher. And the higher he goes, you rise with him. But a nothing ass bitch can't, she can't understand that. Some like, and that's why, that's why I'm telling you, attempting to convert a nothing ass bitch to a thinking woman into a business woman is an impossible task. I'm not going to give you hope. I'm not going to say, oh, it, it's hard, but some, no, it's an impossible task because you don't have time to do that. The time and energy that it's going to take to convert her to a thinking business woman, because that's, if you're trying to go somewhere in life, that's what you need. A thinking business woman. So y'all can work with each other and compliment each other. I'm here, you're there. Digits and twerking behind me, then I'm running with it. I run it up, I can run for the Olympics and get a gold medal because they won't be winning. I told heaven metal, rock out with the glizzy. You shot with the glizzy, but you ain't shot glizzy. Hold on, wait a minute. Your nigga fly like a flight attendant. He ain't really thugging. He just write the lyrics. Purple liquid with a dirty sprite. I mix it in. Ain't by the money. Can't get my... Hey, welcome back to the Big Facts Podcast. I'm A.O. Canseco, fearless leader of A.O. Nation. And I should have my vest on because we finna... We finna... I'm... I'm cause, <clears throat> I'm upset about some shit, dog. I gotta be honest. Um, of course, you know these are the men too. Um, are you serious? T-shirts. Um, and uh, they go for twenty. Um, all the rest of the are you serious? T-shirts. This is not for sale yet. I'm have, I'm trying to make a fucking. I gotta make a the commercial where I can, you know, it's in the commercial tell you all the shit you need to know. So I ain't gotta say all this shit, but I ain't made it yet. I gotta find out what we are gonna do this month. Last month we did the live and shit like that, so. But yeah, are you serious? PayPal.me, you know what I'm saying? Um, all the headwear is $10. We don't have a snapback. I need to take them shit down. We don't have them shit no more. Uh, we don't get new hats in, but we do have the scully. You can't see the scully. You can't even see the nigga face. Um, but we still have a scully, so get your scullies. Um, they're $10. All shirts are 15 except for the men two shirts. If you have not got a Are You Serious t-shirt or a Big Fast Podcast t-shirt, when these come out at the end of March, you will not be eligible to get them. Only AO Nation members will be able to get um, the Big Home t-shirts. Um, and we're still working with the design. All right. Um, if you're new here, the way you donate is going to paypal.me forward slash Aaron337. Uh, for all the new people, you do not donate at the same place that you buy your merchandise and shit like that. And if you have not signed the Men to Petition on Change.org, get down the description box and handle that. Um, getting a lot of support. And as you know, I get our probation in August, and that's why I'm coming to Washington, D.C. All my Washington, D.C. AO Nation members, reach out to me. Um, I'm probably going to be staying at a hotel and shit like that. But I'm going to be in D.C., so you know I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying, get into some bullshit. But still following the three S's. So what is that to do? All right. <laughs> Let's get to this shit, dog. <laughs> Your homeboy, baby soldier, getting to it with the bitch. Um, let me show you this video. Um, little homeboy, just um, just watch the video. Here you go. You is so gay. Nah, nah. Look at him. Look at him. Can't even take care of my daughter. I got my daughter! Some ass bitch, man. You got a bitch on me. You you the one throwing stuff at me. No, ain't just that thing. You just threw all of this at me. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you, my nigga. I'm gonna be honest with you. Let me, let me be for real with you. Honestly, what I'm really mad at, because this, this this is a victory. It's a victory. You seen your little homeboy did exactly what I told him to do. As soon as you get soon as soon as shit get heated, pull out hey, hey, look, hey, 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 hey. 
You know what I'm saying? I've been showing love. Thank you. Um. You don't just watch this show. You know what I'm saying? So as you go and scour the internet to these different channels and shit like that, what you can't help but notice is that there are people that are taking, not the people who are, you know, shouting me out, letting it be known, you know what I'm saying, Big Face Podcast, A.O. Canseco, A.O. Nation, you know what I'm saying, not the people that are actually letting it be known that, you know what I'm saying, here is where, you know what I'm saying, the information comes from. I'm talking about the fucking faggots who give my whole spiel, or not even my whole spiel, they give, you know what I'm saying, and don't give no motherfucking credit to the source. I have an issue with that. I have to be honest. Because all I do, hey, 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 have no issue with it. Have to be honest. When a person takes from you without any acknowledgement, it's extremely disrespectful. And it's hard for me, and especially, see, it's it's one thing when a person sends something to my inbox and shit like that. Because because I don't know these people on the internet, first thing in my mind is, okay, you're sending me something, um, and you're telling me that this person has is by my style, or yada, yada, yada. I'm thinking that you want me to beef with this person. Just, I'm, I'm a, um, a masochistic. I'm, I'm masochistic. I'm a masochist. Is that how you say it? I don't know what that word means, but it just sounds like the definition would be, I think of the most, I think of the worst possible outcome first. You know what I'm saying? I always think about the worst shit. I, I, I'm always thinking the worst. You know what I'm saying? Um, I, it'll stop. Um, I just thought about if somebody called a phone while I'm recording, would I even know? Because the last time, uh, shout out to Big C, he called and shit like that, and the whole fucking shit went off. But, oh my God, that fucking fly landed right in my eye, my nigga. Are you serious, my nigga? Are you for real? Like, that bitch landed right in my fucking eye, my nigga. What the fuck? God. You know what I'm saying? God. It's real shit. I ain't taking none of this shit out. Um. Damn. Um. But yeah, though. You know what I'm saying? That's how you bounce back. I always think of the worst possible outcome first. So if I don't know you and shit like that, and you and you just hey man, this motherfucker taking your style and shit like that, and, and that's you know what I'm saying. That's the first message you send, or you have a um, a tendency to do shit like that. Um, you know what I'm saying. Most of the time it ain't shit, no way. But when I see it myself, this subject, period, point blank. See, we not finna we not finna run with this whole narrative. Oh, uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I ain't seen the show. Uh, yeah, dog, come on with that fuck shit, my nigga. Everybody see everybody, dog. And and unlike you fucking faggots who don't show your face, I have a real motherfucking, you know what I'm saying, following. Real people. That fuck with me and my message. Like, you know what I'm saying? Regardless if I talk about a superstar or I talk about, you know what I'm saying, some dogs in the yard. They fucking with it because I'm a real person. These mother people watch you to find out what happened. Niggas, like, come on, dog. They don't want to hear your opinion. They want to see what happened. Come on, my nigga. I don't want to do no YouTube beef shit, but dog, come on with that fuck shit, dog. All of you niggas, man. Dog, speak. Let it be known. Let it be fucking known. If, if it, because I'm saying. You always hear me shout out Katrina Gibbs because that's my, you know what I'm saying? That's the closest thing to a girlfriend I got, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? And when I say girlfriend, I, I, I mean it in a, I mean it because I, because I, this is me. 
if if you are, are straight, if you're not a homosexual, you shouldn't have girlfriends. Like, hey, girl. No, nah, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Y'all should be, you know what I'm saying? It shouldn't, like, if, if you're not fucking her, y'all shouldn't have no, you know what I'm saying, relationship and shit like that. But being that we're in business, you know what I'm saying? So let me not, when I, so when I said it, I said closer thing to girlfriend, meaning that if she was my girlfriend, we would be having sex, whatever like that. But since, you know what I'm saying, we're having a business relationship, yeah, that's the closest thing to a girlfriend that I have. Let me get that straight. Uh, cause I don't, I don't believe in that. You know what I'm saying? We, ah, you know what I'm saying? I ain't with that shit, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? So, no, nah, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I shout her out, dog, because it's love. You know what I'm saying? I like. I feel like you know what I'm saying. She come up, I come up. It's love. It's like you know what I'm saying. Like it's, it's like team shit. You know what I'm saying? And we can all be like that, really. And we don't have my nigga tone space. You know what I'm saying? That nigga, he made a whole review video I did. You know what I'm saying? And all of. Because it was respectful, dog. Uh, a lot of people have done it. And they always give their source. The nigga, I smoke hip hop. I don't got to go down no list. But it's all love. Hey, I don't understand how the fuck it would hurt you to say, hey, man, shout out to that nigga. Hey, yo, man, he, he, he called this shit on the head. You see that they doing what the fuck I told niggas to do. I told niggas, man, as soon as you get in an argument, pull your phone out. Is that not what Kodak Black doing? Is that not what Kodak home, uh, Homeboy just did? This nigga's Kodak Homeboy. As soon as the argument started, niggas wasn't doing this shit, dog. In the rap game. Far be it for me to toot my own horn and shit like that, but niggas make you do that shit. Niggas ain't finna X-file my shit on some, uh, nah, this the first nigga ain't, nah, fuck that nigga. Anytime I've had an issue with someone taking my NBA 2K, anytime it, it, it was, it, there are people on the internet who, who, you know, they've had the name, the Big Facts Podcast, um, AO Nation, Are You Serious? And I've had to douse every fire, I've addressed everything. But I'm learning that you fucking faggots who will not show your fucking face have an issue for some reason with saying some. I, 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 I'm I hearing niggas shout out other niggas. Why the fuck you can't shout me out and say, hey man, shout out to that boy Ayo. Hey, Team, my nigga. Because I'm not with this internet shit, dog. Like, when I get mad, I want to touch somebody. Stop fucking playing with me, dog. Stop playing with me like I'm a girl, dog. Real, dog. I ain't with that shit, dog. This internet shit so fucking weird, dog. It's weird, man. The fuck? What kind of issue that is, dog? To say, hey man, shout out to that boy, hey yo, man. I'm giving out real, original fucking theories that come out of my fucking mind. Come on, dog. You know what I'm saying? It's starting to happen too much now. It's the last time I'm gonna be, you know what I'm saying? Somewhat polite about this shit, man. Next time around, I'm gonna have to speak to niggas directly. And if I don't get no fucking response, I'm gonna have to address niggas publicly. Stop fucking playing with me, man. I'm not a fucking female. Don't flirt with me backwards. I'm not with that fucking flirting shit, nigga. God damn, that shit didn't threw me off now. But yeah, man, you seen the goddamn, uh, as you see in the video, man, the boy, um, 
<clears throat> the boy um pulled his camera out and the whole, you know what I'm saying, she started talking about uh, you know, I'm finna call the police. And like I said, everything, you know what I'm saying, it this shit, it, it, it worked to the T. You know what I'm saying? It worked to the T just like I said it would. You understand? If you pull your camera out, as soon as things get hot, you all good. You know what I'm saying? Because you should look at it like every hoe is gonna do that. As soon as the hoe get mad, and, and this is a nothing ass bitch, I'm not, I can't, I can't, you know, the way in which, how long it takes you to come out of your natural, you know what I'm saying, environment, you know what I'm saying, that's on you. But understand, the more and more you see situations like this in the situation that I bring up, you, you'll continue to come to the light. I'm saying that because Baby Soldier, as you know, he's watching the Big Facts podcast, and he's been seeing, you know what I'm saying, me talk about this and that, and, you know, probably funny, ha, 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 but he's been listening. I've been talking about nothing ass bitches you've been noticing. You know what I'm saying? What's been going on? You've known that this is a nothing ass bitch, but you sat back like a lot of y'all are doing. A lot of y'all are sitting back just like Baby Soldier did, knowing that when I'm speaking about a nothing ass bitch, I'm talking about the bitch that's on side of you. But it's it's kind of uncomfortable. You know what I'm saying? You want to you don't want it like ah oh, nah. He talking about a hoe I used to have. Or, that's why I, you know what I'm saying. I'm glad I got. But you know that I'm talking about her. Like you know that she's exactly. You know what I'm saying? She fits the description to the T. But you couldn't make a move until something extreme happened, like you finding out that she fucking niggas. You know what I'm saying? Because she doesn't respect you. Because she's a nothing ass bitch. What they say? Say even a, a broken clock is right two times a day. Even a nothing ass bitch can seem like she holding you down and all that shit like that. But you gotta find out in your mind: is she holding you down or is she holding you down? Believe that the niggas that she was cheating on Baby Soldier with knew that that was Baby Soldier bitch, and that's the reason why they wanted to fuck her to. to Directly disrespect him like Yeah y'all y'all think that nigga balling and shit like that Nigga I'm fucking that nigga hold on right, man, man, Nigga please You see who they call me did it though Alright then nigga Nigga broke as fuck Ain't got nothing going on but Now nah, he, he didn't muscle up Because he fucking that nigga bitch Because that baby soldier is that nigga in his section You know what I'm saying you have to understand, dog, uh, when you come into this level of actually being somebody, like once you are that nigga in your section, if you got a hole on side of you, like it's a big ass fucking target on it. You know that shit, don't you? You know what I'm saying? Like it's a big ass target on that whole bag. No matter how the fuck she look, like now niggas want to fuck her just to say, fuck that nigga, nigga. The fuck, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, he the shit, but you know what I'm saying? He got that new car, but you know what I'm saying? He got that new, you know what I'm saying? He got a deal, but come on, dog. You know what the fuck I got? So now he live by relation some type of fucking way. And that's how niggas think. So you allow niggas to directly disrespect Baby Soldier. And he, and he's trying to get, you know what I'm saying, higher and higher. And the higher he goes, you rise with him. But a nothing ass bitch can't, she can't understand that. Some, like, and that's why, that's why I'm telling you, attempting to convert a nothing ass bitch to a thinking woman, into a business woman, is an impossible task. I'm not going to give you hope. I'm not going to say, oh, it, it's hard, but some, no, it's an impossible task. Because you don't have time to do that. The time and energy that it's going to take to convert her to a thinking businesswoman. Because that's if you're trying to go somewhere in life, that's what you need. A thinking businesswoman. So y'all can work with each other and compliment each other. I'm here, you're there. Shout out to Trina Gibbs. Go to conversation with me and look her up. She said that... um. It's not going to work unless it's a working relationship, meaning I'm the, the talent, you're the secretary. I'm the um, I'm the uh, construction worker, you're the real estate agent. You know what I'm saying? We're working together. 
And I, I'll I, I'll say it I, because if you if y'all can have a working relationship, then you know what I'm saying you have something more than just you know what I'm saying. Y'all are both working towards a goal together. That'll work. But when you're just out here grinding, 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 and she just sit back and smoke weed and fuck your homeboys, because that's what's going on. As you're working your ass off, you're not going to have this hoe around all the time. That's it. And she knows that. Understand that. She know that her being around all the time is going to cramp your image. Fucked up. Because she's not caught at beef. It's gonna crap your image fucked up, so she gonna have to fall back while you doing all this and all that. She can't go everywhere with you. But you shouldn't have to think about her like you in jail. Every time you on a road doing a show and shit like that, you gotta call every five minutes of my fine. Like you gotta make sure she ain't fucking. Like a nigga ain't gonna be quiet in the background. If a hoe wanna fuck a nigga, the shit is done. A nigga gonna do anything the hoe say do. I just you know what I'm saying, whenever he call this, fall back. Hope could be getting ate out or dick down. We didn't did this shit before, dog. We didn't did this shit before. You know what I'm saying? Well, you know, you know you you on you know you behind enemy lines, and the nigga call whatever like that, and you pose to stand down, but you don't respect the nigga because you that nigga. It, you know that's a different situation. Well, that's because that's a situation I've always been in. Well, I'm that nigga, and the hoes coming over. You know what I'm saying? Because oh my god, this is a one in a lifetime situation for her. So if she come down, the nigga call, she just say, you know what I'm saying, keep it down. She don't even make you stop fucking. I one thing I, I never did, and that's 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 the reason why I don't respect bitches, and I have such a hard time trusting a hoe because I've seen the evil that women do. A nigga can do everything. It, you know, I've had situations, and I might need to make that a a, a, a show and talk about all these things. Well. Nigga, I've always been arrogant. Always been extremely arrogant. You know what I'm saying? I'll, I'll ask a hoe. You know what I'm saying? You know, you got, cause usually I meet the bitch, whatever like that. I got a boyfriend, and you know I'm, a, I'm a, you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna stop because of that. As a nigga shouldn't. Nigga not going to stop because you got an old man. If that's what's on a nigga mind. But you got to focus. Because if a hoe will tell you that she got an old man. That's her trying to see how bad she is. She trying to see. Nigga don't give a fuck. No, I'm so fine that I can tell a nigga I got an old man. He's still going to come through. You know what I'm saying? But really to be honest. If you really that nigga. When you ask. You know what I'm saying? A bitch do she got an old man and shit like that. She supposed to say. Not really. You know what I'm saying? Like, she pulls a coward down. Like, oh, hell, now nah, my nigga, as long as you talk, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, but Ho says she got a, you know, old man and shit like that. And I, you know, me, I'm just so strolled off that as I'm fucking with the bitch, you know, after I fuck a whole couple times, whatever like that, I'll ask the whole like, what is he doing wrong? You know, because I'm still living a real life over here, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm always going to keep, you know what I'm saying, a bitch, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, but I'm stepping out fucking with other hoes and shit like that. It, it's, it's a fucked up dynamic. But what is he doing wrong is what I'm asking because I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying, find out, okay, so what, how does a nigga do the right thing? Like, does he beat you? He don't take care of the kids. He don't got a job. He don't fuck right. Nah, he, he a good person. So why you cheating? Oh, you fine. And me, even at that age, I knew that, you know what I'm saying? Like, as time went by, like, me at 60 years old, like, I'm not going to be a fucking heartthrob and shit like that. I'm not going to talk the same. I'm not going to have the same, you know what I'm saying? If all a bitch wants is something that looks good, how in the fuck can I ever have you? How can I ever have you? And that's... You know what I'm saying? What puts me in this, I'm going to say the word again, masochistic, you know what I'm saying, mindset to where it's always just fucked up. Because just like a nigga got eyes, like niggas, they eyes don't cut off. Niggas' eyes don't cut off and bitches' eyes don't cut off. Like, dog, you know what I'm saying? When I get 80 years old, I'm still going to know what fine is. And that's why you've always had the Ronald Isley 20 year old girl dynamic. You know what I'm saying? Old man with a badass bitch. 
You don't, as you get older, your eyes don't get older to where, okay, I can, I can see, I see my 60 year old wife as she was when she was 20 years old. No, your eyes stay the same. Sexy is still sexy. In 60 years, big titties, big ass, cute face, natural hair, pretty feet, no stomach. All over, you know what I'm saying? Good skin tone. Same skin color. Like I, I thought that shit was so, in real life, I thought that shit was so, such an achievement, you know, fucking with a light skin hoe, for the space, like, right up under her ass to be the same color as her whole body. Because, you know, usually that spot right up under her whole ass be darker, you know what I'm saying, than the rest of her body and shit like that. Like, no. Nah. I used to love that shit, but you, obviously, you don't ever find that shit out sometimes. If the whole dress like a prostitute. You can tell before you fuck her. If, but if she's not a prostitute, then you won't be able to see whether or not that hoe has the dog spot up under her ass or not until you fucking shit like that. But the point is, sexy is sexy. You know what I'm saying? And, and you know, we all... Shout out to, to the female, you know what I'm saying, who came in my inbox. And um, asked me what my definition of a bad bitch was. Um, I'm not gonna get into that because that's that's a whole nother conversation. Um, if you if you feel there's something wrong with your body type, then change it. Don't don't ask another person. You know what I'm saying and all that shit. Don't get offended when niggas say that he like a bitch with no because well, every nigga wants a bitch with no. He wants his bitch to have no stomach, perky titties, ass that sit up right. And that's just, you know what I'm saying? It's stereotypical. It's shallow and shit like that. But it's just what's appealing to the eye. Um, we can't help um, the brainwashing, the covert subliminal messaging, you know what I'm saying? That has told us, hey man, that's, what, that's what's attractive. Um, there was an episode of the Twilight Zone where a beautiful woman went to a different fucking dimension where everyone was hideous, but hideous was attractive, and she was the ugly person. You know what I'm saying? I thought that was a, a very, you know what I'm saying, mentally stimulating theory. You know what I'm saying? Like, what is attractive? You know what I'm saying? It's all in the eye of a beholder and shit like that, but where we are... What's attractive in America? Black men. You know what I'm saying? That's what's attractive to us. But the point of this all is, um, I wanted to find out what makes a bitch cheat on a nigga. And at the end of the day, it can be anything. You can be too perfect for a bitch. A bitch can just crave confusion, controversy, drama. She doesn't feel alive because it's her life is too perfect. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's so, so it's like, and like I said, I have to do this video um, called um, Don't Get Attached in 2019. The people and things that, like, Aki and Saki, I couldn't do this video until I found where Aki was. He got off the chain, and you know what I'm saying? I was talking to my mom, I'm like, oh, it's Aki over there and shit like that. I'm finna shoot this video. Like, I have to, you know what I'm saying? I care about them. You know what I'm saying? You have to watch what you care about. If you care about this whole opiates, it takes you take opiates for five days straight and you're addicted. You'll have to go through withdrawals to get off of them and shit like that. With people, that shit varies on you and them. You know what I'm saying? But we'll get into that later on. In this situation, as I said, um, he didn't seem too distraught. Uh, like a real nigga, if he gonna cry tears, he gonna do it behind the scenes. You know what I'm saying? Nothing wrong with that. We all have been through this whole, um, oh man, you know what I'm saying? The whole, I never thought this bitch would cheat on me because I'm just too much of that nigga and a bitch would deflate your whole, you know what I'm saying, situation. It's something that you have to go through. And I, listen to me, for all my niggas out there, you doing your thing, yada, 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 pay attention to me. Everything. It's the world. 
everything comes back around. Everything. If this whole... You can't see it now. You cannot see it right now. But if this hoe is sitting here and you cheat time after time, she cry time after time, but she just will not leave you alone. Listen to me, my nigga. It's going to be a day where that one, the one that, you know what I'm saying, that's that's the, you know what I'm saying, the bitch that never moves, she is going to do it to you. And you're going to be devastated. <laughs> that shit is going to destroy you. You know what I'm saying? Get prepared for it. Anything that you put out there, you're going to get it back. And like with uh, Floyd Mayweather, it may not be in, you know what I'm saying, that way with that you think, well, you know what I'm saying, so cheat on me, which it will. Listen to me, it will. That hoe is going to cheat on you. But that may not be all that you get. You might get the Floyd Mayweather treatment where your daughter is getting dogged out by not just, you know what I'm saying, niggas, but she's getting dogged out publicly by niggas. Your daughter. And how fate would have it, you're going to love your daughter. You're going to care about her. Heartless. You are heartless. Then this child came and... That became everything to you. And when the mama found out, you know what I'm saying, she's going to try to push and pull and fuck with your emotions because she can tell that you care about this child more than you ever care about her. Give you an example. Um, Magic Johnson's son... Magic Johnson, of course, you know, uh, got HIV and shit like that. But what's not broadcasted, and I said this, I'm going to say it again. What's not broadcasted is how his wife took that news. Finding out that not only were you out here fucking hoes and shit like that, and I love you. But you could have killed me. By the grace of God, you didn't. Do you like? Can you imagine how much rage... I think as men, what we fuck up on is we really, what's the word? We don't have any empathy towards the, the, the girl that we hurt the most, the one that actually holds us down, that we should be faithful to. But we don't find out what, you know, we don't find that out till later on in life. But we don't think that she has, we see her crying shit like that. We don't think she actually, you know, has feelings for some reason. We don't see her as a real we see her as an extension of ourselves. We don't even see her as a person. You know what I'm saying? And that's what we fuck up at. And that's why hell has no fear at like a woman scorn. Because once she breaks off of you and you can see her as a person, she is going to be a fucking war general. Her whole existence is to fuck you over. And I think that's what happened with... Um, Magic Johnson's wife. She held that shit in. She held it in. Then she found that shit out. And no, she found out. She held it in. She didn't go crazy. She figured how I'm going to get him back is get him attached to his son. He loves his son more than anything. He he do more for his son than he ever did for me. Like, look, look how faithful he is to his son. I can see it in his eyes. Look how he looks at his son. I'm going to turn this boy gay. And that's exactly what she did. There's no being born gay. Because as a child, we don't... Gay means you're sexually attracted to your same sex. How in the fuck could you be born gay? Who in the fuck is thinking about sex when they're born? That is a learned behavior. And that's exactly what these mothers do. They teach their sons how to be gay. And I believe that Magic Johnson's wife turned that boy, that seven foot tall goddamn boy, into a fucking, you know what I'm saying? And she did it by 
when he's out there playing back, when he's, you know what I'm saying, away and shit like that. Hey, uh, bring me my wig, boy. Hold on, let me see what it look like. Put it on right fast. Oh, you look so good in that. Bring mama her shoes. Put, put the shoes on one time. Let me see. Oh, you so... And, and then she shows... You know, that's, as a child, all you want to do is make your mama proud. You don't care. You don't know what you're doing. And your father's always away, whatever like that. So this is all you have. This is your first friend. That's my first time saying that publicly. We'll see what kind of, you know what I'm saying, response I get. But that, that's exactly what happened. Um... And you have to be, and that's and that's the same thing that happened to Floyd Mayweather. Um, whoever this uh, money Yaya's mother is, um, she saw the same thing in Floyd. You have the push and pull thing where the child is not understand this. When the mother and the father are pushing and pulling, trying to get custody, it is my daughter. No, you ain't been here. Ah, ah. The child is not being raised in that time. So how long, how many years you do that? That child is not being raised. That child is learning confusion, destruction. You know what I'm saying? This, so it's the, the, the more and more you shake this child. You know, you know what happens when you shake a fucking child. You know what I'm saying? So with all of the resources that Floyd has, look what his daughter turns out to be. The every average fucking everyday thought. Just like Reginae Carter. And it's so fucked up about Reginae Carter and shit. I think she's a little bit different. But it's so fucked up about her too. It's like, even with her though. You see her mom. You don't see Wayne in this child. You see fucking whatever the fuck. Ta Tanya, Toya. The fuck, that's who you see. And that's how they get back at us. That's how they fuck us up. Through the fucking children. Because as heartless as we were. You can't, you know what I'm saying? You can't do that to this child. You can't do it to the child. You cannot do it to a fucking child. And that child grows on you. And that's that's just your whole world. That's all that's all you care about. You know, like that's that's it. And you not knowing whether or not that girl is gonna turn out the president of the United States or a fucking stripper. Bothers you every fucking night. And the most fucked up party is. Since the only thing the mother gives a fuck about is hurting the father. She'll lean towards stripper. That's why you'll see her give a. Clothes that are too small, shorts that are too short. Let her put makeup on, weave. Let me stop. Hey, anytime you get into a situation with a girl, uh, pull your phone out. Pull your fucking phone out and start recording. If she, because she's gonna say, I'm gonna call the police just like this nothing ass bitch did. I'm not surprised by it. If your bitch wear weave like that, she's a nothing ass bitch. You look at this hoe, you can tell that she's a nothing ass bitch, so you can't really be surprised. Um, a baby soldier, you should have been got this hoe the fuck away from you, and been got you, you know what I'm saying, a bitch that, you know what I'm saying, is, is proud enough of herself that to wear her own hair. And not have a fucking, you know what I'm saying, that hoe ain't shit. That's why I don't give these nothing ass bitches no respect as soon as I see them. Because hoe, I know you ain't shit. You'll do the same, you gonna throw something at a nigga. And see, I, I kind of want to, I kind of want to speak on that a little bit, dog, because I'm gonna I'm think on that a little bit before I say that. I'm gonna think on that a little bit before I say that, because I'm not with, I'm not with. See, I'm not with the thing. Well, the whole thing, I can do this to you, but you can't do it to me. Now, what if I would have caught that plate? And swung that bitch like motherfucking blade, dog. Cut your motherfucking head off, bitch, dog. I, I'm sorry, dog. I'm sorry, dog. But I'm not with that. I can hit you, shit, but you can't hit me. And you think that I'm bullshitting with you? But what's the first thing that this whole said? 
What's the first thing that she said? I'm calling the police. You hit me. If this nigga wouldn't have listened to what the fuck I said, the, the headline would have been baby soldier arrested on domestic violence charges. Just that quick, your destiny is in your head at all fucking times. Excuse me, not your destiny. That's in God's hands. Can I say fate? What can I say? Future? No. I guess it is in your hands, in a way. But it's like, everything's already been written. So what you, what you gonna do is already established. But then what is free will? And that's a whole nother conversation. Uh, we'll talk about that later on, y'all. Remind me we won't talk about that. Make sure you hit the PayPal. I'll see y'all in a minute. Love.